We are seeing record spread rates of COVID-19 across the state, but what does that mean for the restaurant industry? Uh, and are they worried about having to close again? Brianna Richardson checked in with some restaurant owners downtown. Just last week, Piedmont Brewery closed its doors to dine-in seating because of high COVID numbers. But are other downtown restaurants worried about doing the same? Ryan Smith owns Lazy Susan, and he says the entire pandemic has been a question mark. And it's, I mean, it's kind of rough. I mean, in this industry, we're small business, and so we're, we don't really have a fallback, and so we have to do what we have to do to stay in business, but at the same time, weigh it with the health of our employees and the health of the public. He says he's optimistic that a second shutdown won't happen, but he's prepared if so. I don't think there's going to be a next restaurant shutdown, but I do think those of us that have gone through the first shutdown kind of know how to pivot and you know make the business work for the public at this point. So we're going to be still allowing dine-in so long as the um, governor thinks we should, uh, but we will still have outdoor seating and we have moved our entire menu to be to go and pick up accessible. And right up the street from Lazy Susan, there's Barefoot Tavern. Owner Cesar Mamarella says the pandemic has changed many things. I mean, we're still nowhere near where we were for, as far as last year's numbers and the year before. So we've got uh, outside of just uh, those type of challenges, staffing challenges have been relevant as well. Uh, right now, our business hours are probably 60% of what they used to be. You know, spending a lot more money on hand sanitizer, and disinfectants, and soaps, uh, and paper goods. So, um, you know, it's made for an interesting new business model, one that I haven't been used to. And both Mamarella and Smith say as more people get vaccinations, they hope the industry will return to normal. So I'm trying to ride on a high horse of optimism at this point and not try to think of what happened in 2020 as much. Uh, I try to keep looking forward. Uh, I, I feel like with this vaccine about to hit, uh, I feel like we're making the right directions. We were told that service industry people are considered frontline and we would be on the second wave of the vaccine. Um, it won't be, we can't mandate it, but we're going to highly encourage it. I'm planning on getting it as soon as I can. In Macon, Brianna Richardson, 13 WMAZ News.